Smart Select. Samsung toyed around with it recently and almost ruined it, but fortunately they listened to us and they've changed it back. Let's take a deep dive into what it was, what went missing and how it's been fixed and what it can do now. Welcome back to Sam Apple TV. In front of me, I have generations of smartphone all running different versions of Smart Select. It's important, I think, to reflect on this feature because it's something that started years ago as an S Pen only feature and has now become a staple as part of the Edge panel in One UI. Obviously, we know that Samsung have tinkered with it. It's definitely got a new version, but I want to go back to sort of looking at a really early version of it to start off with. This is a Note Fan Edition, or I still call it the Note 7. It's the body of a Note 7. It's the soul of a Note 7. It's Note 7 in everything but name. Smart Select on here was heavily tied into the S Pen. So you pull the pen out and you have your sort of air command menu, which we know about. This is a very older version of it, as you can see. As you can see right there in the middle, Smart Select. We select Smart Select and down the bottom are all your options that you have. You can sort of reduce that menu down to a little sort of thing in the corner, but you can sort of select a part of the screen like that. You can do certain things, you can extract text, you can pin that to your screen as well, so it could sort of stay there permanently. What else you could do here is also is you could circle sort of and lasso any shape you wanted. And then you could it sort of smartly selects a portion that it might think you want. You can do circle or you can do GIF. The GIF one we'll get to in a moment was a lot of fun where if there was any sort of motion or anything on the screen, so if I recorded, let's say this, and I sort of whirled something around in it and then I hit stop. Oh, good thing is that doesn't actually capture that. I have to do something funny. One moment. Okay, motion captured. So we have our motion photo here. and has captured some very funny head wobbles. What I do now is with Smart Select, I'll get that up. I'll hit GIF. Then I can hit View Motion Photo, hit Record. And that has now turned that into a GIF. Hilarious. That's what Smart Select was. It was definitely heavily just tied in to the S Pen. Now, over time, Samsung decided that it could be more than just an S Pen feature. Obviously the S Pen gives you a bit of fine control over how it works but eventually it became part of the edge panel and getting its own dedicated edge panel so when you swipe out from the edge panel and you sort of navigate your way to smart select very similar options are there the rectangle the oval the gif and pin insert same options that we had from the note 7 over here exist over here the only difference is you don't get the option to sort of finely control and select using the s pen because it's not there the S3 on Ultra was unique in that it supported the S Pen. So you could actually, if you had an S Pen, which here's one I prepared earlier, if I use the air command over the screen, which I haven't used on this S20 on Ultra yet because it's still new. Smart Select, you'll see it looks exactly the same as it did on the Note 7. So all the options exactly the same are down the bottom. Use your lasso tool, there you go. So. What was the uproar? Well, just about maybe a month ago, Samsung updated Smart Select. So on my S24 Ultra is the old version. So if I hit Smart Select now, it's now a dedicated app. So it no longer has the edge panel with the different options that you choose. You press the app and then this happens. And what's this? It's just a sort of glowing edge and a dark and dim screen with an X button in the corner. What you can do from here is you just use your finger to circle around something and then it brings up your smart select, I guess, menu for that clipped option. So it's actually quite contextual. So depending on what's in the screen, it can actually give you different sort of options. So if I move it away from there and it's a picture, you can see sketched image comes up. And we know the way sketched image works now. If you don't, you can go watch our videos about it. And then you've got different options. You can copy it to clipboard, you can share it or you can download it straight away, or you have a three dot menu, which gives you extra options, which again, are also a little bit contextual. They're like the other options that aren't here. Now, there's a very noticeable absence from this list. It's create GIF. It 
was one of those things that sometimes you don't think people use. I'm sure Samsung had user data that indicated to them that people weren't using it. So they probably silently removed it and then thought nothing of it. And then the internet happened and completely went up in arms about this feature. And you know what? Rightly so. Because whilst it might be used by a few, it's loved by those few. So Samsung apologized and said, we revamped Smart Select and couldn't find room or couldn't make it work under the new regime. We will bring it back. And to Samsung's credit, about a week ago, I got an update on my Fold 6 inside the Galaxy Store for Samsung Capture. Beautiful. Let's go through how the new one works. It's exactly the same as what it is on the S24 Ultra, only now when you go into Smart Select here, same thing happens. You select your area. Only now there's some extra sort of options. So if we look at the two different two things side by side, so let's chuck them on the table. I'll we'll get Smart Select here, circle a very similar area. You could already see the difference in terms of what it's sort of talking about. I might expand that out a bit more. So you can see immediately the pin icon is back. So Samsung now allow you to pin it to screen again, which is in the three dots menu. So that's great that they brought that back in a e much easier to use way. Also as well, if I hit the three dots, create GIF is there. Samsung finally decided that they would bring it back after leaving it out of this version here. It will eventually roll out to more devices. We're imagining they're doing this slow, maybe not to overload servers. I'm not too sure what the actual reason might be, but the create GIF feature is back. Hey, I'm just editing the video. I just wanted to chuck in here that literally the day after I recorded the A-roll for this, the update on my S24 Ultra in the Galaxy Store came through. So hopefully now more people should have access to the GIF creation tool. Just check your Galaxy Store and uh, this is how you can use it. Let's take a look how it works on the Fold 6 compared to what it, how it used to work on the older versions. You want to create a GIF. Let's say you've watched a video on YouTube and you're liking how funny it was and you want to turn it into a GIF. So let's just bring up a YouTube video. Let's bring up my one talking about the Z Fold Special Edition. Just make sure I drag it to a pile of screen. Alright, let's pause it there. So, drag it out from the side, bring out Smart Select. Good thing is I can tap on the screen and immediately recognizes like an image that's potentially part of a video. The Create GIF function is there. So when I hit that, it's going to clip that part, but I can actually now just drag it this way and you can see it sort of has a little fine pointer there gives me the aspect ratio excellent so from here the good thing is it doesn't block touch interaction in that section either so i can just touch the screen and then press play i can change the recording quality from high quality to standard if you want but it's a gif it shouldn't take up too much room so if it play hit records Hit stop. There's your GIF. All right. And from here, I can pin it. I can copy it. I can crop it and edit it, share it, or download it. It's finally back. And I think a lot of people will appreciate the GIFs are coming back. So that's the new Smart Select GIF creation function. It's finally back where it belongs. It's weird that it ever got removed. I think Samsung sometimes get in their own heads about something. And the good thing is though, is that when they decide to bring something back, it comes back. So kudos to Samsung for doing that. If you want to create GIFs with your phone, please do post it to Twitter and maybe tag us in it and uh, we'll have a bit of a chuckle at it. Hit subscribe to Sam Mobile TV. Go check out our website at the same time. We have all the latest news, including anything that's upcoming with the S25 Ultra. We're very excited about it here at Sam Mobile. And we'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.